coming to you today uh, doing my homework. So I've decided that I'd like to get better at still life painting. And so I've enrolled in Brian Mark Taylor's still life painting course on Sentient Academy. Um, he's a wonderful teacher and a painter that I really admire. And so last night I um, watched a video that showed him painting a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Um, the instruction was to do a paint along with him and create um, a painting of a bowl of chicken noodle soup. And so I'm gonna show you a photo of the painting that I did, which is a, a follow along copy of the painting that he did uh, right here. So you'll see that now. And then the next instruction was to uh, paint your own painting of chicken noodle soup. And I happen to have some chicken noodle soup. So what you can see here that I have set up is um, a bowl of chicken noodle soup um, that's lit by my nice uh, Ikea sharp light um, to get some nice light and shadow on that. And I'm gonna be working on an eight by 10 inch uh, 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 panel, um, just a, uh, uh, Gator board panel. Um, it's actually the one I painted yesterday and I wiped it off and now I'm gonna paint on it again. And so um, what you should see coming up is a little bit of a time-lapse um, version of that painting, thanks. So as I get started, the first thing that I have to do is apologize to you because the quality of the video is not great in terms of the, um, the lights in particular. You'll see at the end that I add some stripes on and you can't really even see them. And so um, I just want to apologize for that. Uh, so what I'm starting out with is just my, my basic drawing. I've got some uh, transparent uh, red oxide that I've used to outline. Uh, and trying to get my ellipse drawn carefully, uh, and you'll see me go back to it later. Uh, I'm starting with the shadow shapes. It's a sort of off-white bowl, uh, and to my eye, the upright portion of the bowl, um, which is that off-white color, was a bit darker in value than the um, shaded surface of the white um, a dish towel that it was on. So you can see that I've made the, the bowl a little darker and a little bluer as well, and that was just the way that I uh, saw it, uh, trying to get that terminal shadow in as well. Uh, again, the light is coming um, from the left, illuminating the soup. And again, this is where it gets a little hard to see really uh, the true colors, and so I apologize for that. The um, shadow on the surface of the soup is is uh, a mixture of ultramarine blue and yellow ochre, and it was surprisingly accurate to the color that I saw of the chicken soup in shadow. Um, and I, I'll use that again. Uh, now what I'm starting to do is put in some of the carrots. Um, and starting with the areas of the carrots that are in shade, and then I'll go back to try to capture the areas that were illuminated. Um, what I'm putting in now is some of the noodles as they were arranged. This wasn't the same chicken noodle soup that I painted um, along with Brian, and the noodles are wider and straighter. There, there were no curves because they're thick, wide noodles, and so um, it's really more sort of a series of um, rectangles uh, as I saw it. Uh, my spoon is also different than his. I have just a round um, straight spoon, whereas his had a nice graceful curve, but I just kept it honest and painted from life. You see, as I, as I get, as my head gets into the picture, you start to get to see a little bit of what's happening in the light, um, but as soon as I move out, um, uh, the, the quality of the image is, um, is poor, and uh, I'm gonna try the next video on my phone rather than my iPad and see if that's a little better. So um, I'm continuing to try to model um, what I'm seeing in the um, soup. You know, some of the noodles are uh, above the level of the meniscus of the fluid, and some are actually underneath. There was actually a carrot that was um, uh, underwater, as it were. And so um, I think you'll see better at the end when I show an image of the completed painting it was a um, slightly darker, but very much more neutralized. The other challenge that I had here um, was getting a bright orange that was bright enough. I did not break out the cadmium orange. I used a warm red with a cadmium lemon medium, 
and, um, and tried even, a, I think, a cad lemon, and um, really could not get that really vivid orange color that I saw. Um, but it's, it'll, you'll see, it still reads, but it's just not quite as vivid as the, the actual image. Um, there was a little reflected light around the rim, even though that uh, left-hand portion of the inner part of the rim is in shadow, there was a little reflected light coming up from the soup. Uh, and I tried to, to show that. Uh, I keep coming back to that bottom. Um, I had the tripod set up right over my left shoulder, which actually made it very difficult to step back. And I think that my drawing suffered as a result. I'm gonna work on something different for the next video um, because um, there were issues with the, just the drawing of the bowl that I had a hard time seeing from right up close. And I think had I been able to step back a little more uh, that would have been helpful. Um, as far as the other colors in my palette, I was using uh, ultramarine blue, um, transparent red oxide, titanium white, um, as I mentioned, cad lemon and cad yellow medium. Um, I used, I actually don't remember which red it was because I had a few different ones on my palette, um, but it was a, a warm red. Um, and it might have been cad red medium. Uh, I had some alizarin and I used a little bit of that. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. So a fairly limited palette. Um, I did do this on a dish towel and decided that the stripes would add some color and liveliness to it. So here you see I'm painting the color of the stripes in shadow. What's gonna be more difficult to see is as I add in the, the sort of lighter red stripes every once in a while, you, you get a glimpse of them, like right there. <laughs> Honestly, they're not disappearing. That would be quite the trick. But um, for whatever reason, I could not get the video to show you those uh, more clearly. So I apologize for that. One of the things that I really enjoy about painting from life is being able to see subtle things like the um, reflections. And so uh, I had taken that stripe out of the bowl earlier and I came back to try to do it a little darker, a little more accurately. Um, and then what I was able to see by looking at the bowl um, was that on the surface of it, there were some reflections of the stripes onto the bowl. And so I think you'll see in a minute, I come back and, um, and add a few of those uh, at the very base of the bowl. Uh, where you can see them. Again, just trying to uh, sort out some of the um, uh, drawing. Um, I took a second there to use my mirror and uh, that helped. Well, everybody, I don't know how much later it is than when I started, but this was harder than I thought. Um, I still struggle with some of the real basic drawings and getting the ellipses perfect is hard. And so I needed to do some adjustments from time to time. Um, I used my favorite tool, um, here it is, uh, my mirror, um, to look at the picture as if seeing it from anew um, to be able to see the mistakes. And even at the very end, there were things that I saw that I adjusted. Um, but overall, um, I'm pretty happy. I think it reads um, fairly well. Um, I'm excited to learn more. I think this is an exciting program and um, I'm gonna be doing the January Strata Easel Challenge where I'll do a painting from life every day and most likely those will all be still life paintings. And so I'm hopeful that between now and then I can really um, benefit from the videos that I'm watching and um, kick up my skills um, a notch or two. So um, thank you for watching. Please give me some feedback um ideas for other still life topics i have some props that i've been collecting that you'll see some of perhaps on a theme and um, thanks for being on this journey with me bye